Hello everyone, my name is Sinner and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Sinner and this is Elden Ring. So, we've been waiting for this game for quite a while. It's good to actually get into it. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> we have a previous season that we were making, and, uh, well, unfortunately, a lot of the footage was lost, so we're just gonna start on over and let it do its thing. Alright, so we're gonna go with the wretch, as we did last time. And let's go. Then, so we're young, we're rich, a keepsake. Okay, let's move that over there. Um, let's go with a golden seed. So normally you'd end up with more golden seeds than you'd know what to do with anyway. Not that big of an issue. We could also go with Shabri, with Shabriri's Woe if we wanted uh, to have enemies focus on us. HP. Lines between. Ah. Huh. He's getting many runes. I think I'd like another heal. Anyway, let's go with one of these. That works. Let's go. Alright, so. We will quickly go through stuff just for you guys. There's the tutorial. Uh, the tutorial cave. I don't think you really get anything for doing it aside from an em aside from an emote, the uh, stripe emote. The fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden. Was shattered in our home across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon of Mere, the All. And 
one other, whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. To cross the lands between to become the Elden Lord. To stand before the, the Elden Ring, become the Elden Lord. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> so we are deprived. Well, wretched in this game. By the way, if you jump off here and die, you just respawn over there. Just, if you were wondering. <laughs> it must give an accidental demonstration. Um, I don't think there's. I don't think there's anything you can pick up here. I also don't think you can actually come. I don't know if you could actually come back here or not. I'm guessing it is... <laughs> I'm guessing it is, um, like, near the end game, Like, right next to the end game. That's my assumption. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get into it. We have our good old tutorial friend here. Right, to toil, friend! We can't necessarily win. I mean, we can win, just... We just need to be cheeky, I guess. <laughs> we did it! One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. There is what lies ahead at our path. But we're going to do something else first. So we've got these. That's fantastic. We're going to need those. Cool. Let's say hello. Says nothing. Brave tarnished. Take the plunge. Of learning and re remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Sounds good. The hiccups are also canon. Recall the, the art of... 
he just had way too much to drink last night. That's all. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the tutorial area real quick. One of the nice things about the game that has changed is when you are not in combat, you have infinite stamina. So that is really nice. So if you want to test around with things you can, if you just want to run to places, you can do that too. So let's go ahead and uh, rest at this spot of grace. This site of grace. Also, to two hand, you have to. Uh huh. Interesting. I'm gonna try punching them and see what that does. Look like a nice combo. Oh yeah. There we go. That whole eight damage on a backstab. You know, we're just beating up his friend. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just some random dude. He's like, get back here. <laughs> we're just that random drunk at a bar who just starts fights with people. <laughs> okay, so to two hand, you just hold triangle. Or whatever the button is for you. So, look at the controller. Uh, it'd be way easier just to have like an overlay. But uh, you hold the, uh, the the button that you would use in other Souls game to, to toggle. Basically. And so it's going to pull up this menu to the bottom left. Those are touches. Those are quick items. They move them away from the central area because that's a map. And then you just press the... Uh, you press the no uh, trigger, no, the bumper of the weapon you want to use. Oh, but God, you want me to go out? Well, you did a good job. Okay, dodging. This is also because it's something called guard countering. That's where you hold block, you block an attack, and then you hit the right trigger for a heavy attack. And Mr. Olche is up there shooting at us. Now you can uh, re you can grab any resources that are out there. Okay, wielding armaments. Yeah, it teaches you how to do that here. Amazing. Enemies. So, the game is actually built around heavy attacks. So, any, every enemy in the game has a certain po has a poise amount, a poise counter. So, we have stamina, enemies have poise. So, technically, if like, we could mind control an enemy, they could just attack forever without ceasing or run forever. The player doesn't have that luxury. <clears throat> but, uh, so what the enemies have instead is they have stamina just like in Sekiro. Now a one-handed attack does about the third the poise damage as a charged R2 or a jumping attack. So it's always in your benefit to either hit enemies with charged attacks or to just jump on them at least from what I've done. Probably not entirely accurate, but it is what it is. So next time we find a uh, great shield guy, don't worry, we'll encounter a bunch of something. Hey, then we can use skills. So for this, it's we can screen, and then I think, yeah. And then we can go and like jack people up. I think. Oh yeah. Also, there's Sekiro crouching. Sekiro crouching. Unfortunately, there's no Sekiro like jump attacking. I mean, like jump critical hitting. So that doesn't exist. Okay, but stance breaking. So, some attacks may break an enemy stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. 
Purge attacks and jib attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Really like to like reset him and then see how many weak attacks it takes to make him stagger. But anyway, here's the first boss of the game. It's really hard. It's killed so many people. It's the worst boss in the game. It's even worse than uh, Margie. Totally, as you can tell. You know, it's it's a uh, just is what it is. It's a regular enemy. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just so difficult. <laughs> the worst enemy of the game, as you can see. But, uh... <laughs> oh, that's basically something you can do. You can just... Enemies that you can stagger in one hit. With, like a jumping attack, you can just stagger them to death if you don't want to fight them. That guy's just a common enemy, though. So, let's... Go and grab that, and strength. Let strength be ground. And uh, here's something that's interesting, though. There's an item over there. And I don't know how to get it. But he has a big club, and uh, I don't think you can get that club in the early, early game. So, my assumption is that that is a, late, that's a mid to late game area that loops back around. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep going. We are going to get out of here. Make our way to our first spot of grace. Our first sight of grace. I don't think there's actually anything to collect in here. So let's go ahead, go here. We don't like put our hand over it, we just hold our hand out and the world gives us what we need. But let's go to flasks and a charge. So we have a golden seed as our gift. We don't have more of them, though. We don't have any sacred ideas. So, we don't have a lot of magic yet. We're going to be going as a caster on this build. We have Quop to play, the Seven Finger, the Tarnished Furl Finger, and soon we're going to get something else. Also, very important. By the way, the game doesn't care if you're flying over something or not, so if you're, say, in poison, and you're jumping, it's not going to help you. I don't think there's any items in here either. Pretty sure that's just a sign someone's put down. Yeah. Alright, so, and there's nothing in here. So, what lies out here? Ah, uh, Limgrave. Now, after you grab those, uh, those, air, those items back there, there's this one that's easily one of the more important ones as well. So this gives us the small golden effigy. How that works is when you use that, if we go down to multiplayer, and then we go to here, what this does is it will put your summoning sign right here. Also, as I said, all these items respawn. When you when you pick them up, whenever you rest on the side of grace, all those items respawn. So, and I mean all of them too. So, uh, the items that you that you would the items that you would use to create the item that lets you summon people, that item will respawn. So these guys, for example, we just rested on the side of grace. They're all back. But there's this guy. Yes, check your map. As you can see, this is telling us to go up this way. To the next intended path. Who are you? Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, aren't you just a big bundle of joy? Luckily for you, however, 
there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are, it's time you set to Castle if you seek. By the way, I think what he's talking about, <clears throat> my assumption is that um, not sitting at any of these uh, to get a dialogue with a certain character is essentially the, like, new, it's not the New Game Plus, it's the, like, super hard mode. If, if you will. Uh, like in Dark Souls 2, there were the items you could get if you never sat at a bonfire. And you... Oh, I don't know who that guy is. We're going to avoid him. So if you never sat at the bonfire and you never... Yeah, I think it's if you never sat at the bonfire. There's, there was another one if you had... There's another one for if you... Um, always had a torchlet, so there's another one. It also put a hard deadline on the game. <laughs> so there was that. And who's over here? Santa Claus! <laughs> Hello, Santa Claus. Alright. We got this lost grace. We have this over here. Strengthening armaments. Smoothing tab, you can spin runes and smoothing stones to strengthen your own ones. Alright. So, how does this button work? So, smoothing stone and runes, you can... With the smoothing menu, you can spin runes and smoothing stones to strengthen your own ones. You can strengthen your own ones with your plus three at a smoothing table. Some other lines between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your own ones even stronger. Well, alright then. So here, we can just make it plus one. Yeah. Sounds good. Any cause. You're a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. Alright, Carly. Purveyor of fine goods. Go and grab his torch. And we can't really get anything else. So, what's this? Cracking kit. Yeah, we'll do cracking kit too. We're gonna need that. Nice to do business. Indeed. You need to crack pots and other containers to craft certain items. Not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Alright, so what that means is whenever you buy a container, you can always just you you fill cracked pots with items. Like, you can make fire bombs or smoldering butterflies and mushrooms. And then you can make this one with strings, that's where you throw it behind you. Uh, those, uh... What is this? Rural Brazen. Oh, good. Uh, basically these are, these are your fire bombs. So this one, this is your PV, uh, this is your, essentially your ember. Your humanity. It doesn't full heal you when you use it, but it lets you access co-op and PvP. And those items are incredibly common. Pretty much everywhere. There's some nice places to find them. So if we go... 
over here-ish, that way, we would find a keep. We'd be able to uh, buy items at that keep. Yeah, the inventory menu. All right, so let's go. Be let's go over here. Let's put the the torch over there, and we can hold that up to give ourselves a little bit of extra light. But we don't need it right now. We don't have a good shield, so we are going to instead run forward without <laughs> without club and jack people up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And most of these do not drop gear when they die. So just beware of this. Okay. But where we want to go first is... Let's see, we, we want to get a shield of some sort first. So, if you kill animals, you just get their bones that you can make little throwing daggers with. The, the throwing daggers you make from them aren't particularly great, and I don't think... Oh, does, is he actually going to attack us? He is. Well then, it's time for you to die. Get back here, we started this. Kill the pig, slit his throat. Little bastard. Alright, so we got a lump of flesh. What about the eagles? Double kill! Alright, so we got a feather and a four toed foul foot. Uh, indeed. Also, enemies. So let's go forward and see what we can find out here. Now we have our uh, buddy here. Yeah, but as we can see, enemies, they do have a... Um, they do have that stagger bar. Ruin fragment, not too bad, not too bad. I don't know what the rune fragments are used for, but, you know, you can carry like 900 of them or something. So why not grab them? I don't think they respawn, though. I also don't know if they're permanently used. That is what it is. Anyway, let's, uh, get this guy's attention. Okay. i right, got some kukris, some throwing weapons that do bleed damage. Okay, so I'm guessing the charged heavy attack does effectively three hits, and the jumping attack does two hits worth. No, the jumping, the charged attack does a lot more than that. Right, does like five attacks worth. Okay, so I'm not sure if it is. I'm not sure if the jumpy attack does five times the uh, light attack stagger damage, or if it does more, more or less. I'm not sure. Anyway, whenever you see these, just act, just examine them so you get them. And let's go. So we can get a sword that we can't use, and we can also get our hands on some armor that we can use. Pretty early, actually. We just have to kill this very specific enemy. And then we've got it. Let's go over here to this spot, Grace. And those early flowers, so that one right there, we just picked it up. We need two of those to make a, uh, to make a co-op item, or a PPE item. Now we can sit here, and we can go back over there and grab it again. Wait, this is going to be... Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. 
I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. All right, so I'm not sure what happens if you like say no. <clears throat> I haven't done it yet. I'm assuming that's hard mode. When you don't get torn. Well, who can level up? Turn your runes to strength. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thought. Let strength be grant. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. All right, so we can do horseback riding now, and we have our pouches. So I guess about those now. So. You come over here and I always put Torrent down here now. Put him there. There is something that comes up there. Um, so you press X or the bottom button, the jump button, to forward dialogue, but you press Y to confirm things. Uh, I really think they need to unify that and make it I make it one or the other, not both. Anyway, here's where we can get that gear. You know, fighting on horseback is quite a bit easier. <laughs> he only has the jam inside. <laughs> nice, good luck. Eh, eh, eh. What's this one look like? Gotcha. Alright. So I'm gonna go murderize this guy. <laughs> Die. Alright, so the, there's also no uh, pickup animation anymore. Alright, oh, he's got it. He's guarding the front. Over here, I think, is a sword. So if he wants to have a two handed sword earlier on, he can do that. Yeah, Lord Sword, Lord Sworn's Great Sword. Now, I think it requires more strength than we have, so we need to increase our strength by one to use it. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, instead, however, we're going to come over here, we're going to. Uh, kill that guy over there that's walking around for his armor because some enemies drop their gear others don't <laughs> so if you can sneak up on somebody you can just do a heavy attack into a backstab instead of just a backstab right, come on my dude show me what you got <laughs> now, I'm not sure if each one of these guys' attacks with his special are considered considered heavy attacks. Eh, but he's gonna do like a downward angle. Eh. 
Okay, so... Yeah, I think the Barbaric Wars thing is uh, not good. <laughs> otherwise... So it, it does like... Three light attacks, I'm guessing, whereas normal I could just do one heavy attack, and that would probably that would probably guard break him. So uh <laughs> I was testing there to see what would happen. See if it was gonna be any good. Uh the answer was no. <laughs> anyway, we got that herd flower again. Hello, friendzo. What you got? Come on, do something. Yeah. Come on, friend. Yeah. Okay. All right, but we're going to heal and then make our way for a little bit. Should be able to kill these guys, no problem. That guy's gonna come after us. He's gonna say, huh? What was that noise? Get Hammer Boy over here. Come on, Hammy. Show me what you got. Let's do it. Eh. Alright, well, we don't get hit. We don't get hit by both of them. Come on, Shieldy. Watch your goat. So combos kind of exist against enemies, but they don't exist against players. Just so you know. Alright, more ruin fragments. More ruin fragments. That guy's going back over there, that works. So I'm guessing charged R2s and uncharged... I'm guessing jumping attacks and uncharged R2s probably do about the same amount of poise damage as charged R2s. That's my assumption. I don't know if that's true or not. Die. We got uh, Spiry Boy over here. Luckily, we just backstab it and be done with it. So over here, if you're a Dex character, uh, there's the mm, is the flail. If you want that, what? My uh, my controller is doing something. Okay, so if that happens, uh, just be aware on PC. I guess we need to. Uh, have our controller be in a slightly different location. But alright, let's see. We want to aggro this guy by himself, if possible. Which I think we can do. Good, okay, he's after us. I just want to get away from him and do jumping attacks to kill him. If at all possible. Eh. Come on, dude, show me what you got. Yeah. He showed me what he got. We're just going to be huge cowards, and, uh... <laughs> Alright, we got him. Oh! Okay, I see. 
So when we got that armor from him. <laughs> oh, he needs to play through. That was just random drop. Okay, got it. So I could, so we could farm him for his armor if we wanted to. No, we're not going to, but we could. But we have our horse now. The horse is nice. It has a double jump, and that's going to open up the map greatly for us. But we're actually going to head across a bridge over here. Now you can use this. This is really useful. That dude's over there, but we can use this to look around if we want. So I think we are right under the camera. And we can see that guy over there. But we can... Uh, we're going to go over that bridge. We can see this huge lake. Now there's a ruin over there that we actually want to head towards. So let's do that. Because there's someone over there I want to talk to. <laughs> Take that. Let's go over there and just see what we can get. Okay, sounds good. Trading skills with a whetstone knife. You can use Ashes of War to grant your, your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. If any skill, any skill I previously had will be removed. For the whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War, blah blah blah. Yeah, you can. It also changes the affinity. So. <laughs> so we want to, we could also get his sword, I think, by killing him. But we're gonna head over here to this. Just in case you wanted to play some sort of mage-ish character, you can do that. We do need a shield, though. That definitely presents a problem. We have that Marika that works. That Marika. But I hope we can get up through here. We need to find a place to jump down. Hmm. What's your story, friend of? O oh, sapling, sweet sapling of glorious gold, as your crystal teardrop ripened. Crystal teardrop, eh? Tell me more. Would you like to know more? Yes. Now let's go over here. And see what else is out here that we can find. Okay, is that... I guess we'll find out if that is death. Okay, cool. Let's well, if you jump. You can double jump. Um, I don't know if there's a limit on falling. Like, how far can you fall? So, if you... Basically, if you jump off a cliff, would you be able to... do a, a jump before... like you die? Okay, statue mark here as well. There's just probably a boss around here. But anyway, let's go over here and... There's someone around here that I want to talk to. So we have a bunch of souls. And I think he's over here. Could be wrong. Ah. There you are. Right this way. Right this way. Hello. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please? Okay, so here's a shield I can get. So here's a small shield, a medium shield. This one requires 12 decks, this one requires 8. So we're going to go with that one. So that we can actually use it. And then we're going to equip it. Now, here's why. We have a parry now. I'm gonna need that real soon. Hmm. Oh, that's his side, I think. Open for business. Oh, 
Okay, so there's uh, like little wind gates or something. I don't know. What I don't remember what they're called. They're little uh, vertical wind shafts. Let's see. We want to head west, are they? I think there's a pig after us. A wild boo. No, no, not the Dutch. <laughs> so what? They, they. Okay, so we can jump up here, and then we take control of that. Yeah. Let's get away from it. Uh, two drop scarabs. So that would just give us an additional heal if we need, if we were out of heals. But well, we can come over here. And this is actually where the mage trainer is. They're in there though. This is a little bit of a maze. Let's take that off. Let's avoid those. And we have a friend in here. The world's best friend. So his fist, I think, can be parried. Not as flail, though. Ah. No right, no. Let's take him down, shall we? Ah, we should have parried that. Oh well, here's what it is. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. So if you're having trouble with this guy just now, you can parry him to death. Seal, just you know, safety. Ah, oh, missed. You screwed that up. Yeah. Crap. We're, we're being bad right now. <laughs> All right, nice. As you can see, we're good at this game. <laughs> so let's go kill him. Now let's rest at the Stake of Matica. So most bosses are going to have a Stake of Matica near them. And that's going to... It's connecting again? So... Let's go ahead and get in the air. So it's over here? Yeah. Alright, let's go kill him. Damn it. Okay, I don't think his flail is actually parryable though. So we'll do a safety heal and do a charged attack. Oh, that's his head slam. Bait that out. Ah, we need to heal. So we don't toy. Yeah, come on, give me a punch. Show me what you got. Pumpkin head. Oh, very good. Excellent work. He's doing it. I like it. 
As long as he keeps doing those, we got this guy in the bay. Damn it. We jacked it up. We screwed it up. Damn it. Now. Damn it. Well, we're terrible at this game. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll try again. So if you're wearing armor, like if you have night armor on or something, uh, you'll be able to take more hits. Just how armor works, you get damage reduction. But uh, we don't have any of that. There. Let's go ahead and make our way in there again. If we wanted to, we could summon. We don't need to summon for this. We just need to not suck at the game. So, well, let's go. Wait, where is it? What the fuck is it? Damn mazes. Alright, let's go. Alright, eat that. I don't know if two-handing it before we uh, smack him would do any extra damage. Ah. Nice. Come on, Finn, stop sucking. I like how for the wrong attacks we try to parry it and then for the right ones we dodge. <laughs> Try to punch it. For fuck's sake, just punch me already. Oh, there, well, there was his punch that we wanted. There was his punch again that we wanted. We didn't parry for some reason. Yeah, we're an ass at this game. <laughs> That's all you need to do is carry him like five or six times. Anyway, let's stop being absolute shit and actually go kill the boss. That'd be nice. Self. <laughs> Come on, Fen. Be competent. It's not hard. Ah, that was not his punch. Damn it. Uh, for fuck's sakes. Let's do a better job, self. Let's kill him. He's not hard. It's just you. You just have to parry him. 
It's not hard, said Mozart to his like daughter-in-law. You just have to, music's really easy. You just have to put your fingers in the right places at the right times. Nice. Excellent work, self. Is he dead? Yes. All right, finally. All right, so behind here, someone you don't want to attack. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? I want to learn sorcery. A yen for glimstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Yes, of course. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. All right, so we can learn all of these. This is a buff to our weapon. That this is the these two are the starting spells. So our intelligence is not high, so we're just going to go with Glintstone Pebble. The thing is, Glintstone Pebble will actually carry us through most of the game. Uh, that is the thing. Um, from what I've seen and read, the you're like the worst apprentice ever. We break everything and then immediately run away. Ah, okay, nice. That helps. So the the glintstone pebble is probably the most useful sorcery in the game, I guess. You're going to use it for pretty much everything. Uh, it'll be your go-to. Whereas other things, right, Hagen? Whereas other things will not. Well, other thing, other things do more damage, but they take longer to charge. So it's like the equivalent of using sorceries to do charge attacks versus sorceries to do regular attacks. So they tend to work pretty well. Um, does she sell items as well? Can I buy equipment from her? Young apprentice, you are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Infantile. Without the legs to walk. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Now... Shall we start learning? Yes. Yeah, so she she only sells the sorcerers, so we need to go find a staff to use. Now, as it turns out, I know where I can get a staff from. It's also really far out there. <laughs> we can buy one. So we probably don't want to go there. But I think there's also other places where we can get staves uh, if we want to. I think there's like something on a peninsula. I don't know where that peninsula is. There's a peninsula somewhere where we can buy a staff. The other option is really far out of the way for us right now. It's one of those things where I'm like curious. It's one of those things where I'm kind of curious why the um, why it isn't really easy to just get sorceries from the start if you don't start as a wizard, as a mage. But let's go ahead and let's go and I'm not sure where to go next. Let's go and see if we can get to the first boss. So we can mostly ignore these guys. Um, 